Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing um, a little trial of a waxing kit I just got. So I haven't actually used an at-home waxing kit, so I'm very excited to try this. This one is by Tress Wellness. So this is what the packaging looks like. Um, super cute and everything so I'll show you guys what's inside and it says everything you need for waxing on the actual packaging too so you open it up and I already opened it up but um, it comes with this cute little letter from the founder also by the way guys I did get this off of Amazon I'll try to leave a link down below if you guys are interested in purchasing um, but this is a really good kit obviously I have to try it out but based on like what it comes with, it seems pretty good. So it comes with gloves to use for, I guess, like sanitary reasons. If you're just using it for yourself though, I don't know if you actually need them or not, but they're there. So this came with a bunch of hard waxes. There's lavender, um, they're different scents. Lavender, lemon, we've got eucalyptus. This is interesting that it's blue. Tea tree and also peppermint. It also comes with popsicle sticks to use, big and small ones to make it a lot easier. And there are pre-wax and after-wax sprays, which are, you know, good for prepping and moisturizing your skin afterwards. And they do come in a normal bottle form, but there are spray toppers inside which you can interchange them if needed. Um, there's a little instruction booklet and for some reasons I kind of wish the instruction booklet was a little bit larger but I do like that it is small because it makes it very handy because you do buy a lot of products that come with these instructions and the user manual is usually like ginormous and it's hard to store so this kind of makes it easy. This is the actual machine we'll be using and it is a digital machine. The cord, I mean, it could be a little bit longer. It's not a bad length, but the cord is pretty good, sturdy. And then, so once you take the lid off, there are the little pump sprays that I told you guys came with it. And then there's the inside the little wax cup where you put the wax beads to melt. And that is the actual part that gets hot. And then it comes with these little round things to go over top of this just to keep it so you don't like spill or anything like that there are only a few though seems like there's about five of them so I'm not sure if you're supposed to reuse them or throw them out but I mean if you're careful hopefully you won't need them so that's what came with this kit so I'm gonna be testing it out um, I haven't shaved in a few days on my legs so I do want to test it on my legs and we'll see how it goes yeah please don't mind my hairy legs. Alright guys, so I have everything set up. Everything is plugged in. I figured I'll show you this view so you guys can actually see me doing it. I wanted to show you guys up close. This is what my leg hair looks like currently. It says your hair should be at least a fourth of an inch before you do it, so mine's about there. I'm gonna start off by putting the wax beads into the wax warmer and I'm gonna use the peppermint one just because I figured it'd be cool to try. I mean they're all really good scents but I was just feeling peppermint right now. Open this up. This wax bud. So um, I just feel I'm gonna do like half the bag. I'm not really sure. It doesn't say it just says pour it into the pot. So I don't know if I'm supposed to do all of it or just a little bit, a little portion. Um, maybe I'll put all of it in because I'm not sure. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put the lid on and then it says to turn it on to full blast to the hottest setting. 
So we're gonna let it sit on the hottest setting until it starts to warm up. In the meantime though, I am going to spray my leg with pre-wax spray. So this is what it looks like. I went ahead and put the spray portion on. It says just spray your leg and then wait for it to dry. This will help it get your skin into a perfect condition for waxing. It's made with coconut perfume. It smells very coconutty. It smells like a beach. It smells really good, like you're on a trop tropical vacation. <laughs> so we're gonna let this dry and we're gonna let the wax warm up. Guys, we are about halfway melted, so I'm gonna start to turn it down temperature-wise. So this is what it looks like. It is currently at 251 degrees. It is a nice consistency, about half melted. So I'm gonna bring it down to about 150 degrees. It says you can place the heat from 150 to 180. That's what is the ideal temperature. Um, I am gonna go a little bit lower because this is my first time doing it, so I'd rather have it obviously hot like it's supposed to be, but I don't wanna have it too hot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this melt the rest of the way. Okay right, guys, so it is now about the perfect consistency. It's like a thick honey. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rim around the side just to catch any extra wax. So when you're waxing, you do wanna apply it with the grain of your hair, and then you wanna remove it the opposite direction. Let's get started. I'm not wearing gloves only because I'm not sharing this machine with anybody else. So um, if you are using it for professional use and you're gonna be sharing it, obviously be a lot more sanitary with gloves and all of that stuff. Okay, it's not that hot. It's not as hot as I thought it would be. All right, so I guess we're gonna do like small areas because I'm sorry guys if I'm like not doing this right. This is my first time. Like I said, I'm not a professional. Okay guys, it works. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> okay, so there are a few hairs, a few stragglers left, but it did a pretty good job. I guess the only downside about this is I did apply a self tanner and if you guys can see the different color, it does work and it didn't even hurt at all. So, all right, let's keep going. Okay, I applied this one the wrong way. I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna do a few patches. I know you're probably not supposed to, but. You can feel a little pinch when you do it, but like it doesn't hurt. And I'm really surprised. I've never been professionally waxed before either. It's doing pretty good. It is leaving some stragglers, like I said, but the one biggest concern I had was it would hurt and it doesn't. So if it leaves a few stragglers, I'm fine with that because I just want something easy that works and doesn't hurt. Guys, I'm sorry I keep applying it the wrong way. I feel like it's easier when somebody else does it, but it's it's working pretty well. Okay guys, so I just wanna show you my leg. It is getting kind of irritated. It's turning really red at my pores. Like I said, I've never done waxing before. Um, 
So I think I'm gonna stop for right now. So I just wanted to give my final thoughts. I didn't do 100% of my lower leg. I kind of stopped a little bit earlier because my skin was getting really red. It does kind of hurt a little bit, but I mean, that's normal. There's gonna be irritation. You just pulled out your hairs from moxing. And I apologize again for <laughs> not always doing it in the right direction and I'm not a professional. So I'm sorry guys if I didn't do it right. Overall, I do really, really like the machine. I feel like it's really good. I didn't realize, I thought there was like a ton of beads, but I feel like it's not gonna last you that, that long. Like obviously waxing does last you a little bit, but if you're doing like your full leg, you're probably, or full legs, both legs, you're probably gonna go through three to four packs. I don't know if with waxing you're able to remelt the used wax or if you throw that out. I have to look that up. Um, obviously, like I would think you'd throw it out, but if you're using it just for yourself, I don't know if you can re-throw it in there. I don't know. The machine heats up pretty quickly. It took only, I don't know, few minutes maybe like two to three minutes to fully heat up so I'll just have to start getting a hang of it like I said this is my very first time trying home waxing um, so I feel like it went better than I expected but I feel like at home unless you've done it before or know how to properly do it or watch videos beforehand which I should have done but I wanted to give my honest like go with the instructions and just go for it. Honestly, doing it yourself on large areas of your body, I feel like it's a little bit difficult. But I do feel like this home waxing kit is a little bit better for like doing your underarms or like doing your bikini line, like small areas that are like easy to do at home. Cause as you guys saw with my leg, like I wasn't getting every single hair. It was pulling out a good amount of hairs guys. And I will say it works very well but it's kind of hard to go like back and forth and then if you miss a spot like um i feel like it's better for small areas at home just personally um if you don't have a lot of patience or <laughs> you're a perfectionist and you know um because i know you're not supposed to go over areas like more than once i probably did maybe once or twice but i'm gonna try to get a little more of a hang of how it works and all of that but thank you guys so much for watching i will leave a link down below if you guys are interested in purchasing but this waxing kit literally comes with everything you need so um i'm gonna go ahead and i did not use the after spray though which i should probably put on right now i'm sorry guys i didn't show you guys that i love you guys i will see you guys soon in my next video if you haven't subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button if you guys like this um i'll see you guys soon love you bye